hey guys welcome to today's vlog i think i'm only gonna film for today but it is gonna be kind of a lot of content because we got a lot of stuff to do yesterday i already recorded this clip but i absolutely hated it because the lighting was horrible and all this other stuff and it just wasn't the vibe but we're gonna do like a quick little update on the stuff i stopped eating gluten for my ibs like i think two weeks ago tell me why it actually is helping my stomach i also did it partly to like lose weight but it's only been two weeks and i don't think it's been doing anything yesterday i finished up my last sunny angel order so i'm fully caught up i sent out a strawberry yesterday i went shopping like a ton of errands i got everything done for mine and julian's costumes it took us forever to figure out what we wanted to be for halloween this year and i was not gonna let it go unless we did like a couple's costume so we finally settled on doing ponyo for halloween my first stop yesterday was trying to find a bucket and a sailor hat at party city i found both this was actually on sale I got it for like three dollars off long story short i got this at a discount because i broke it <laughs> and i was like literally all the other green buckets are also broken so like it's fine so i got that for like 50 cents i went to michael's and i got another skein of that blue yarn so that i could do like another uh i need to organize my yarn first of all it's literally all just like stacked on top of each other like crazy i got another one of those blue skeins of yarn because for some reason everybody's been ordering the sunny angel mouse one the most and i had just bought like two skeins of that yarn and they're all gone now because i made three of those hats this week it's been a whole thing got julian this yellow shirt for the costume he didn't have one but like honestly why would we own a yellow shirt i got myself an orange shirt and then i got myself black um heat to transfer vinyl so that I can make myself a Camp Half-Blood t-shirt. But I feel like this is the only color orange they had. And it's like a bright <laughs> orange. Like, I might return this. I'm not gonna lie. Because that's kind of a lot. Um, And then I might just go buy like a different shirt at Hobby Lobby. Um, I couldn't find a PNG for free for the camp half blood logo and i tried to make my own and it just wasn't coming out right so i'm just gonna buy one on etsy like eventually that's kind of like a side project for myself for a different day we got both of those costumes ready i think two days two days ago i i started making my own shorts and they're really big right now but that was like on purpose because i need them to uh be super flowy and ruffly because they're supposed to be like bloomers um i've never sewn before so don't look at it too closely these are the shorts that's what they're currently looking like i got elastic for the waistband and then also for um down here so that's what i'm gonna do today i'm gonna go back to my mom's house and we're gonna finish this up for my costume because i have pretty much everything else for the costume i went to ross uh that same night that i finished those shorts looking for a red dress and this was kind of the only one that i found um i mean if it's the vibe it's just for a costume i got it for like nine bucks granted it's not like a solid color like in the movie it does have these little detailings on it but unimportant unimportant don't have any more sunny angel orders so i'm not going to be doing that my halloween party is this saturday which is in three days. Also, I finally ordered new glasses, so I don't have to wear these anymore. They're literally the exact same glasses that I already owned before the, you know, the ones that, yeah, the big framed ones. Second light update, sort of. We're leaving this place, not by choice, but that's like a long story. I don't know if you guys saw my community post. I sort of a little bit talked about it, but it's a whole thing um i don't really want to get into it right now until we leave here so yeah i'm gonna go to my mom's <laughs>
Hey guys, we're at my mom's. Using the sewing machine, um, I broke two needles because I was sewing over, <laughs> I was sewing over this. So um, I can't get it to fold where I want it to, where it's not going to like go through the elastic. Sadly, I think I'm going to have to like just hot glue the rest of the top for now because I my needles just like it's it's not meant to be going through like thick denim materials, you know, so I snapped two needles already I feel really bad because it's not my sewing machine. It's my mom's. Yeah, my needles keep snapping through this um, It might have been my tension and it might have been the stitch I was using and like a number of other things, but I think I'm just gonna go home. I think I have fabric glue somewhere. I'm probably just going to fabric glue down the rest of it. I'm gonna see if I have tape here so that I could fold this down and then just go over the spots where it's not the elastic. But I'm moving on from that part. Right now I'm pinning the hem of these shorts i'm probably not doing the best job like i do not care i should be like going and then like sewing these pieces down like pressing them so then when i go to sew they're all like the same length or whatever but like i don't care um i was pinning it on the inside at first and then i changed my stitch and the tension and everything so hopefully this doesn't snap anymore but I was doing it like on the inside at first and then I was like, I kind of want the hem to be outside. Yeah, I'm pinning it down. All I'm doing is, and like I didn't cut these shorts like perfectly to scale or size either. They're not perfect and I don't need them to be perfect, but I'm kind of like upset with myself because I broke two needles in the process of making these shorts and I'm not even making them well and they're not even like, anything special all i'm doing is like double folding it so that this cut edge is inside and then i'm folding it again so that i have like the seamless thingy right here and then i literally just have to finish pinning this other short leg and then i'm gonna sew it closed and then i think i'm done and i'm gonna get out of here i'm learning how to not do things which means that i'm learning how to do things if that makes sense. But yeah, this is like my elastic waistband currently. Um, It's not perfect. It's not perfect, okay? And I don't need it to be perfect, but I do need the elastic to cinch the rest of the fabric down a little more. Just trying to figure out how best to do this. And I keep pinning this down and it keeps like unpinning. So it's just a whole thing right now. <laughs> I'm trying to make the inside as like seamless so that it doesn't look so ugly, but like nobody's gonna see the inside. And I really just need to finish this. They're not bad. They're not awful. They're just not the best. Like you professional sewers, please don't look too closely. Hi guys, I'm back home. At this point, I'm over it and I'm just gonna hot glue the rest of it. I checked and the needles are only like 350 at Walmart. So I am gonna replace those for my mom. Just gonna wait for this to heat up and then finish these stupid shorts. I'm over them. I'm really, really, really over them. I'm gonna finish these up. And then I also have to <laughs> hot glue my bucket. I got bit by like so many mosquitoes at my mom's house. I'm so mad. I just finished up the shorts and they fit. You can probably see my underwear at the bottom of them, but that's it. Might iron them just to like straighten them out a bit. Um, 
that's it. <laughs> I don't know if you guys can like see them that well, but I finished them. I literally just glued the rest of it, so they're not perfect, but it's not like I'm trying to sell these to anybody. So mission accomplished. My panyo costume is officially done. I've kind of just been lounging around for the past hour, so I'm gonna freehand the boat from the Ponyo movie instead. <laughs> I couldn't find any sort of um, pattern for like the type of boat that I wanted to make. So I'm gonna freehand it. I don't think it'll be that complicated. Honestly, I have sort of an idea of crocheting like the base. I, I'm not gonna make it very big either. It's gonna be like this big. I have an idea of crocheting the base shape, like the bottom of it and then building it up and then like making se separate like pieces and then stitching them all together. Uh, You'll see what I'm talking about <laughs> once I like come back with like an actual piece, but if I can make sunny hats, I can freehand this boat. So I'm kind of getting a lot better at freehanding projects. My face is really itchy too. I have to put moisturizer on, um, but I'm going to wait until I figure out this little piece first and I'll be back once I come up with like the actual shape for the boat. Maybe I'll take notes on it so that I could um post a pattern for it or something it's funny i printed out like the shipping label earlier and it came out to this size so i might just take notes on this piece of paper hopefully i have a pen somewhere i'm gonna get started though all right we got somewhere here is what i've have so far this is gonna be like the base of the boat and like i said it's not gonna be like very big i tried to find a binocular pattern and i did find one but I think I'm just gonna like go buy toy binoculars if I can find them anywhere. Now the plan is basically to build up height on the sides by, I think we're gonna go back loop only to build height. And I've been using half double crochets because it's just a little bit faster to get anywhere. Plus this is simply something for a Halloween costume. So after it's gonna be house decor, but there we are. So I'm at the end of my last row with the white. I went to go look at that technique that does that color change where it's just a straight line because the bow is like just a straight line across. I'm trying to get it as accurate as possible. Um, I looked up the technique online. I don't think that my Google search was like good enough or something because half of my searches were literally just doing regular color changes. I was like, no. I need the color change where it's actually gonna do a straight line. Just gonna switch, do my last round. I think what I'm going to do is probably do like a round of slip stitches or something. I want there to be a distinctive yellow around all of this, but I don't want it to be like too crazy. I'm gonna see what it looks like with a single crochet. I think it might be too thick. Yeah, that's too thick for my liking. <laughs> I think we're gonna have to do back loop stitches on this as well, which is totally fine. I'm not explaining this the best way, but pretty much I'm gonna do a few little rounds and then I'll talk to you guys about this technique because it's actually really useful. I like it a lot. As you guys can sort of see, if my camera would focus, um, when you do the slip stitches in the back loop only, it kind of forces the front loop of the previous stitch forward so that there's actually a distinct line. And you can kind of see it a little bit better here. Uh, it forces this stitch forward of the of yeah, it forces the front stitch over like this of the previous round so that the red's there. But then it also will show the front stitch of your previous slip stitch forward so that it kind of creates a sort of line. And that's what I'm doing. Ah, bright as all heck. That's what I'm doing in order to like, you know, make it an actual line. You can sort of see that now better. Uh. Yeah, I'm not entirely sure how I'm gonna do like 
the piece that goes in the middle because I know that there's like a boat piece that covers right here that's yellow. Mm, I might just do a whole other top piece that's yellow and then sew it on top and then do like the little blue house thingy because in the movie there's a hole to go below the ship. Um, I'm not trying to do that so I have to go back and look at the picture and then see what I'm gonna do from here on out. Sorry my camera flipped over so I and the charger's like on this side so I have to have my phone flipped this way and then I have to re-flip it when I edit stuff or else the whole video comes out like super weird I don't know it's a whole thing but I'm used to looking like here because it's usually where <laughs> the camera lens is but it's over here sorry if I have not been like looking at all my notes don't make any sense um but like this is the easiest easiest way that I can write it down but then when I go back it's not gonna be easy to like try to explain to somebody my iPad died while watching Grey's Anatomy because I ignored the low battery notification multiple multiple times so I'm just gonna sit here <laughs> until that charges a little bit oh, guys just cut out the piece of cardboard to go in the bottom center of this whole thingy majigger and I cut out or I crocheted the yellow piece I'm gonna make it so that the piece um does that inside of the boat and then I cut out this cardboard so that this piece can lay flat ish currently working on the little what's it called the top part and I'm kind of getting a little concerned because I don't know how I'm going to make the sides of this thing. I am gonna leave like this part exposed in the back, which is why I want um, to like close it off with this piece. It, it'll make more sense once I'm, <laughs> once I show you what I'm planning to do, it's, it's kind of a little convoluted currently. <laughs> Didn't get any pictures of the costumes, but did have a really good time at the party. Next video is going to be featuring all the custom orders I caught over the weekend. And I hope you guys stick around for all of that. Bye. <laughs>